Hey guys, and welcome to another Fear No Fix video. Today, we're working on our 2004 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 liter. We're replacing our EVAP valve. That could be the cause of your PO171, your PO174, your PO455, or your PO496. Chris, why don't you take it away? This is a super easy repair. It's really common, you're gonna get these codes a lot, but you don't need any special tools at all. You can do this in about five minutes, so let's not waste any more time and just get to it. You can find the solenoid bolted to the firewall back here, driver's side of the truck. We'll start by removing the connector on the driver's side over here. Press down on the tab, a little inboard right here, squeeze, and then pull it off. Next, we're gonna press on this tab right here and slide the whole assembly out. We remove the top hose by pressing in on the gray tab right here. It can be a little hard to see if it's greasy, but if you move your thumb around, you'll find something that moves when you press on it. Press in hard, and then it might be a little stuck, so you might need to kind of wiggle a little bit, and it should just pop off. Move it off to the side. The bottom one has two gray tabs you press on, one there, one on the bottom. So we just press in, slide it off, and that's it. Your replacement solenoid might come with a bracket, the whole assembly in one piece. Uh, if you're gonna replace the bracket, you have two eight millimeter bolts here. Ours is fairly sturdy, so we're just gonna leave it as is. So now we take our new part, slide it in over the bracket, Big hose on the bottom, press it in, snaps in place. Little hose on top, press it in until it clicks. Connector, push it on, tab facing up, and then we're done. Okay, Chris, just like you said, that was pretty simple. If this video helped you, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of our future videos, and until next time, fear no fix.